Hey, Doug, you got me? Yeah, I got you, Matt. Let the record show I won practice with 118 incident points. <laughs> well, congratulations, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that was Matt Stewart winning the uh, practice session, and we are getting ready to go green flag racing. Not that the lineup's going to matter, but here we go. Mason Neal, Ashley Ellison, Mike Killenbeck, Brian Mansfield, Matt Stewart, Kevin Martin, Anthony Stevens, Michael Scruggs, Brian Burkhart, and Skylar Massey. Matt, round at your top 10. 11th is Matt Tate. 12th is Derek Turner. 13th is Patrick Coluccio, then Joseph Smith, and Mikey Mixter rounding out the field of people who are going to wreck a whole lot. Brett Carroll, we'll be glad to have you back next week, buddy. All right, the new iRacing pace car is about to drop off. Let the madness begin. As they're already three wide on the pace laps. And they're already bumping on the pace laps. And we're already checking up on the pace laps. No cautions, no damage. Whoever gets to the final lap first wins. I do believe it's 50 laps. We'll have to wait and see as it's not showing at the top. But here we go. Green flag off into turn one. Wreck number one underway. Wreck number two underway. Skylar Massey already yeeted off the track and a big one in the on the straightaway. Let's see if we can see what happened. Uh, Skyler went backwards. Ah, I see. Go, go, gadget smoke screen by Skyler Massey. And then Kevin Martin was immediately involved in an incident. Ah, uh, that was the turn one incident that collected a whole lot of cars. All right, back up front. Ashley Ellison has assumed the lead for the moment. Okay, now we are back live with Ashley Ellison up in the lead. Mason Neal in second. Mason Neal having some difficulties there as he goes flying by a car that was upside down. And Ashley Ellison now in the lead with the bullseye on his back. Car upside down in turn three and four as he comes down the front straightaway. I fully expect to see brake lights from the car in front of him. Oh, he gets into the Playboy car. They both get sent to the moon. Mason Neal's now going to assume the lead on the back straightaway. Currently, Mason Neal, Matt Tate, the only two cars on the lead lap. Somebody better do something about that. As a lot of the field is on pit road and the rest of the field are laps down. Mason barely avoiding a stopped car on the back straightaway. Seriously, this is the longest I've ever seen somebody lead and keep it clean. And it looks like uh, Mason had a little bit of difficulty getting down the front straightaway that time. Mason Neal bumping a lap car. That was the Skittles car. I do believe that was Matt Stewart. And here comes the former leader, Ashley Ellison, off pit road trying to chase down Mason Neal. Mason Neal and Matt Tate, the only two cars on the lead lap, but uh, Mason has to know he is the target now. Mm -hmm. 
We're only on lap 11, but here they go. They finally get to the leader, spin him out. He's up in the air, upside down, on his side. Matt Tate takes the lead. He now has the target on his back. And we have been known to win the... Uh, races stay a little too clean we have been known to uh, assist in that but there we go the leader gets turned look like Ashley Ellison manages to sneak through there Skylar Massey now getting back on the lead lap just barely he's right in front of the leader Skylar Massey now in third Tony Stevens now in fourth he is back on the lead lap and I see what they figured out here. They are holding the throttle down, riding the wall. Looks like everybody's starting to get the idea here. Somebody needs to get out there and ruin that idea. And it looks like we've got one attempting to. Oh! Tony Stevens spins. Had a little bit of a rough exit on the turn. And the leader gets put in the wall. He's stuck. Now we've got, oh, it looks like three or four cars <laughs> stuck on the inside there. Mason Neal now back to the lead. It's a Red Bull car. It will not last. Even with damage off, he's going to end up just getting blown up because he's a Red Bull car. Eighteen laps completed now. As they're wrecking back behind, Mason Neal continues to lead. Skylar Massey is the only other car on the lead lap. Looks like he was targeted, but uh, somebody missed. And Skylar Massey up in the wall, upside down. Mason Neal is now the only car on the lead lap, I believe. Mason Neal is the only car on the lead lap. Now he's got a really big target on his back. I fully expect to see a car backwards any moment. Now here comes Brian Burkhart sneaking up behind him. Burkhart can get to the back bumper. He can send him around. There we go. Burkhart is... There we go. Burkhart gets up underneath of him on the left side. Oh, Mason is still right side up. Not for long as he has to navigate a bunch of wrecked cars there. Let's see Ashley Ellison's most recent wreck. Matt Stewart stopped on the track. He gets going and gets sent. Goes over Ashley Ellison. They get stuck together. Matt Stewart looks like he is stuck upside down, but he gets hit and lands it he sticks the landing we probably ought to keep a closer eye on matt stewart as he goes for breaking his record in incident points as the leader mason neal navigating another mess here mason neal has a two-lap lead now over tony stevens Lap 25, these guys still have Mason Neal several laps ahead. They're going to have to do something to stop him. Looked like Ashley Ellison went for it and missed. Oh, we had another car aim for him and just missed. It looked like Mason just checked up. Knew right when to hit the brakes on that one.
And can anybody stop Mason Neal here? There's cars literally blocking the track. He just manages to avoid everybody. Oh, the 28 went for it and completely missed Ant Tony Stevens now on pit road. So second place is on pit road. Matt Tate is third place. Killenbeck stopped right in the middle of the track. Killenbeck activating his smoke screen here. Mason Neal still well in the lead. He might have this thing wrapped up. And it would be really weird to see a Red Bull car finish the race, causing the least amount of carnage. But uh, it might be happening as Mason Neal gets into the back of Killenbeck. And now he's upside down. Now he's spinning. Matt Stewart drives through him. Matt Stewart is on a whole different mission here tonight, trying to uh, win the most points, but he's taking the leader out. Tate is still four laps down, though. It's going to take a lot of taking the leader out for anybody to catch back up to him. Mason Neal gets past the flipping car and makes his way around the track again. Mason Neal way out in front now. Matt Tate in second, Tony Stevens in third. Matt Stewart still out there fighting the good fight, trying to get the most incident points. And Mason Neal now upside down. He lands on all fours again, but he gets hit again, sent up into the wall. All they got to do is keep hitting him and slow him down. Tate has regained a lap. And he gets spun around again and again. Matt Stewart coming through, getting him into him several times there. Now they're starting to target Mason Neal. Mason had better watch out. They have him in their sights at this point. And you see the car braking right in front of him, trying to slow him down just barely. There's a car upside down on pit road. Mason Neal is navigating through the... <laughs> there are cars stuck on every wall. Mason Neal is acting like he might just win this thing, and he might. He's actually driving and managing to negotiate traffic really well. Lap 40, Mason Neal still in the lead by several laps. Three lap lead over Tate, four lap lead over Stevens, eight lap lead over Brian Burkhardt. And Mason Neal starting to cause a little chaos of his own, trying to wreck some cars in front of him, maybe uh, give himself a little bit of a block. He's drifting it. There's a car on its side right behind him. Somebody came through there on two wheels. Now he's backwards. If somebody can come through and hit him, hit him, hit him. 
Yep, yep, Matt Stewart got it. And another freaking four wide right in front of the leader. Somehow Mason gets through that one. Lap 43, Mason Neal continues to lap the field. Looks like he's giving Ashley a little bit of help there. Ashley Ellison is going to try and run him back down into the turn. Gets up underneath him and spins him into the wall. Tate is now two laps down. With Mason Neal being targeted by several drivers, he might have a chance of regaining. Almost got hit again. A couple of cars back in the fight here. Matt Tate not that far behind now. Neither is Tony Stevens. And there was a car literally flying. I think it was Kevin Martin. Let's find out. Kevin Martin stopped down there on the inside, but I think he got spun around and then he got sent halfway down the track and stuck in the fence. Back up front with Mason Neal as he gets sent and drove under. He's stuck on the fence. The leader is stuck for the first time. Mason Neal now stuck on the fence. He has to get towed. That's going to give Tony Stevens a chance to get back around here. Tony Stevens might be able to get back to the lead lap. If Matt Tate can get out in time, he might be able to get back to the lead lap. Tony Stevens still in second place. Matt Tate in third. Will they regain the lead lap? Mason Neal still on pit road. Tony Stevens now to the lead. But Tony is spinning on the front straight away and gets a huge hit. Several cars spun out there. Matt Tate has the opportunity now. I do not know who just went flying. I think it was Matt Stewart. Or possibly Ant. Somebody just launched off of Ashley Ellison's car. All right, Tony Stevens back in the lead. Tate still a couple of laps behind as he goes airborne. Mason Neal will reassume the lead here. But he is getting beat up from every single angle here. And Mason Neal got sent to the moon. Mason Neal back on pit road. Matt, uh, Tony Stevens is on pit road. Matt Tate currently being scored in third, but Brian Burkhart in fourth is showing as the only car out there. Mason Neal still being scored in the lead, but Tony Stevens about to take that lead from him. Looks like we are doing a 35 minute enduro tonight, so it's about halfway. 
Mason Neal back out on track several laps ahead. As Mason Neal now getting a push from Brian Burkhart, but Brian ends up wrecking himself. Mason Neal continues to lead, but Stevens is now within a lap. Burkhart currently five laps down, Tate several more. Several cars wrecking right there on the front straightaway. Brian Burkhart coming through. Matt Stewart is backwards. Matt Stewart stopping on pit road. I guessing he has a plan here. I almost hear the Jaws theme music right now because there is Matt Stewart getting back out on track right in front of a three car pack. And that catches Matt Stewart, gets him turned around. Will Tony Stevens be able to capitalize here? Matt Stewart gets the leader again. The leader is in the air. The leader's stuck in the fence again. Mason Neal is in the fence again. He had to get towed. Anthony Stevens is going to have an opportunity here to take the lead back. Tony Stevens back to the lead. Fifteen minutes left, and I'm guessing Matt Stewart should be able to beat his, uh, with 35 minutes, I'm guessing he should be able to beat his incident points from last week at the figure eight. Tony Stevens in the lead. Mason Neal still on pit road. Brian Burkhart has an opportunity to pick up a couple of laps here. He is now two laps down. We'll have to watch and see if Burkhart can navigate his way through and wreck a few cars along the way. He needs Tony Stevens to be taken out and they can end up with several cars back on the lead lap. Three wide, or nose to tail, three cars down the front straight away. That's not going to end well as they go off into the turn. Mason Neal now back on track. Mason and Brian Burkhart now on the same lap, but all of them are a couple of laps behind Tony Stevens here. And Matt Stewart gets spun again as Tony Stevens helping him to uh, get his points. And Tony Stevens uh, having some problems getting down on the straightaway, on the back straightaway. Loses a little bit of time here, we'll see. Will that give Mason, Neal, and Burkhardt a chance to catch back up? Ashley Ellison stopped on the straightaway. Big one in the on the straightaway here. Several cars involved. Uh, looks like we've got one flying. That was Stevens. <laughs> here comes Matt Stewart to uh, help everybody out just a little bit. Mason Neal one lap behind. Burkhart two laps behind now. They're all within striking distance again. As everybody is targeting... Tony Stevens here. And the trick in the past has been to be in second place on the lead lap until the last lap. Then wreck the leader and take the lead with one to two laps to go. Tony Stevens now taking a page out of Mason Neal's book. He is successfully navigating this track. And
and he's successfully driving along the wall as we've got one car backing up the track. I believe that was Michael Scruggs. Michael Scruggs coming off of pit road backwards. And misses the leader. Matt Stewart, obviously uh, going for incident points more than anything here tonight. He goes off into the turn, collects one car, hits the wall, collects another car. Back up front, Tony Stevens still in the lead. And we've got several cars stopped as Tony Stevens gets slowed down. He is now wrecking into other cars. He is stuck, and this is the opportunity Mason Neal and Brian Burkhart needed. They're both right there, side by side, second and third place. Burkhart sends Mason Neal over. Burkhart moves up into second. They are now on the lead lap. At least Burkhart is back on the lead lap trying to chase down Anthony Stevens. Now Tony Stevens is in pit road. Mason Neal and Brian Burkhart are on the lead lap. Mason Neal stuck in that mess, and here comes Burkhart trying to lap him. Mason Neal now on pit road. Brian Burkhart has moved into the lead. Ten minutes remain. Brian Mansfield in fourth, nine laps down. Mike Killenbeck, 14 laps down. The only hope they have right now is a concerted effort to stop Brian Burkhart, Mason Neal, and Tony Stevens. And they got a little bit of help with Burkhart. They get a little more help with Burkhart. And will he be able to get off the wall? He is still driving it. He is, uh-oh. Brian Burkhart might be stuck. He can wait there a minute, see if somebody will knock him off. He gets a little bit of help and gets he gets down upside down. <laughs> he gets stuck in the wall or in the catch fence. And I believe Brian Burkhart is going to have to be towed to pit road. Nobody is coming to help Burkhart. Nope, now he's going to get a little help. No, he didn't. Mason Neal now coming to the lead lap, but there's a big one right in front of him, and he sends Matt Stewart, and he gets stuck in the wall. Now Tony Stevens has a chance to assume the lead again. As we've got two or three cars now stuck in the catch fence. Tony Stevens the lead. Burkhart and Neal on pit road. Mansfield now seven laps down. So he's regained a lap. And it looks like he has the leader right in front of him. Mansfield being a little stealthy there in the black car. In the fog, it's kind of difficult to see him. All right, Tony Stevens still out on track, still in the lead, starting to put some laps on Mason Neal and Brian Burkhart while they're on pit road, but he's getting a little help up into the wall. I believe that was Mike Killenbeck in the uh, Jim Beam car. Anthony Stevens moving Brian Mansfield. Now they're all stuck on the front stretch. Anthony Stevens manages to get clear. He is now back to the lead. Uh, Mason Neal, Brian Burkhart now back on the lead or back on the track, I should say. Brian Burkhart back to pit road. Mason Neal still out there, but uh, he is three laps down. Burkhart's five laps down. Mansfield lost another lap. He is now eight laps down. Tony Stevens just trying to drive through everybody at this point. He is not trying to avoid as much as he was earlier. He's now trying to hit. And he's going to get hit. 
Mason Neal puts him up in the wall, but Mason loses it. Three cars working together to try and stop the leader. And they get it done. Matt Stewart hitting him a couple times. Mason Neal hitting him. Anthony Stevens continues to lead, but he keeps getting caught up. You can see everybody is making an effort to try and stop him before we get to the end of this. Tony Stevens out front, Mason Neal in second, Brian Mansfield in third, but they are so many laps down. They're going to have to send Tony to pit road for a while to be able to get enough laps back. And with six minutes left, it's going to be difficult. Oh, we've got a full send into the air. Looks like that was Michael Scruggs that went flying. Yes, indeed. Michael Scruggs goes flying, lands partway on pit road, and then gets help getting onto pit road there. And Tony Stevens just moving people. Now Tony gets turned as well. <laughs> and Mason Neal is upside down. Mason Neal manages to stick the landing though, but he is still two laps down. Brian Mansfield still eight laps down. Burkhart now 11 laps down. Less than five minutes left. I don't think anybody can stop Tony Stevens at this point. But Matt Stewart is there. And no, he does not uh, impact the leader at all. If Mason Neal loses any more laps, he is probably out of this thing. Matt Stewart trying to close down. On the leader, will Matt be able to get to him? Oh, Matt overshoots. Let's see if Matt can get back up here and wreck the leader. And it looked like Tony Stevens might have blinked right there or got sent to the moon. I'm not sure which, but Mason, Neal, he is now being shown on pit road. Mason Neal has an opportunity here to get back to the lead lap. Mason Neal now backwards, but back in the lead. Britt, this is actually uh, Enduro, and they've got three and a half minutes left, but uh, yeah, it's it devol devolves quickly. <laughs> no damage, but uh, you have to survive, and we've seen a bunch of cars stuck in the fence at one point or another. At one point, we had about four cars stuck in the fence. Mason Neal, though, back to the lead. Three minutes left. Tony Stevens still on pit road. Brian Mansfield in third, but several laps down. And Mason Neal spinning. I believe that was the 28 of Michael Scruggs. Mason Neal looks like he might be having a connection issue while Ashley Ellison is backward on the front straightaway. Mason Neal on the lead, but Tony Stevens now back on the lead lap. And the leader just got turned. Mason Neal just got turned. He is back the right way, but Tony Stevens now trying to close the gap. Two minutes left. If Tony Stevens has anything for Mason Neal, he's going to have to make it happen now. 
Skyler Massey currently holds the record being 66 laps down. And big wreck coming into the turn. Mason Neal now getting spun around. Can Tony Stevens catch up? Ashley Ellison helps get the Mason Neal turned around. Where is Tony Stevens? Here he comes. Mason Neal has just one minute left to uh, try and finish this as the winner. Ashley Ellison trying to take out anybody he can on the uh, front straightaway pointed backwards. Tony Stewart closing in on Mason Neal. Only one car currently on pit road. Everybody else is out there. Big wreck right in front of the leader. Ashley Ellison gets turned around. There's Brian Burkhart to the outside. He does nothing with the leader. 35 seconds left. Another big wreck. Mason manages to avoid it, and he manages to put Tony Stevens a lap down. Tony Stevens has gone to pit road. He got sent into the air. Michael Scruggs was the one that sent him, and then Michael got stuck in the in the wall. All right, three seconds left. Then Mason will get the white flag. He should get the white flag this time. My Burkhart misses in his attempt to wreck him. No, he's gonna get the checkered. It is gonna be Mason Neal at the line. Tony Stevens is going to finish second. Brian Mansfield finishes third. Brian Burkhart fourth. Mike Killenbeck fifth. I have no idea how many laps down. Killenbeck 17 laps down now. Utter insanity tonight. And Mason Neal got yeeted all the way to the... Uh, pit road there we've got one now stuck up in the fence that is Brian Burkhart stuck up in the fence Mike Killenbeck still out there trying to cause trouble as is Matt Stewart Matt Stewart's just trying to get his incident count up though if we're honest let's see if we can talk to Matt real quick hey Matt this is Doug you got me I got you Doug what was your incident count I got 144, not my best showing. Uh, looks like Ashley Ellison won the incident count race with 172. Well, he was parked backwards on the front straightaway quite often, so, you know, that might have a little bit to do with it. Yeah, I feel like I passed him a bunch of times. He was just sitting still in the middle of the racetrack. Um, who is next? Brad Mansfield did well. He got 154. Well, a bit of a rough night on the uh, incident points, but still a decent showing. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Doug. I uh, hope we put on a good show for you. <laughs> that was definitely entertaining, buddy. All right, thanks, Doug. See you, bud. All right. What a wild evening. You saw the 358s. You saw the 305s. You saw the uh, Enduro that was just nuts in the fog and uh don't forget the outlaw united racing league is accepting new members right now they are recruiting you can find them uh outlaw outlaw united racing on i racing league number 5758 we'll have more information posted for you sometime tomorrow and let's see if we can talk to tony stevens real quick hey tony this is doug you got me Yes, sir, I do. You kept getting the lead lap and getting into the lead, and then you'd end up stuck in a fence. That had to be the most frustrating thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Not what you expected, was it? 
No, it wasn't. But man, I'll tell you what, that was that was a huge blast. I enjoyed it. And these guys are so much fun to race with, and you know, uh, out there in the um, in the three hundred fives tonight it was the first time I'd ever driven that car, and they were so helpful. And you know, a bunch of the guys were coaching me through when I was having problems, even at the end of the race. Uh, man, they're just they're just a blast to race with, and and to do something like this is just so much fun. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> great well congratulations on a second place finish uh i know it had to have been entertaining at, at the very least being in the car absolutely without a doubt that was a lot of fun all right man congratulations looks like mason neal has joined us as well congratulations mason hey doug how you doing man <laughs> i'm great uh that was uh definitely an interesting race yeah, it was really good. Um, I was lucky enough to start out front and just try and set the pace from there. And you, as you know very well, know with these enduros, um, S hits the fan really quick. So <laughs> you got to try and manage the chaos, um, managing the chaos. And if you can manage the chaos, you can keep yourself uh, out of the pits. And that's uh, proved to be the winning strategy for me there. Yeah, there was a couple. There was only a couple times you ended up on pit road. Most of the time, because you were stuck in a fence. Uh, didn't seem like you had the. You got targeted as much as we're used to seeing. Uh, I mean, you say that. I feel like I had a target on my back all night. <laughs> I, I had Matt's rainbow car in my butt all night. So. That is true. Matt was going for the incident count, and uh, he definitely was looking for you in the process. Do you know how many incidents he ended up with? Were you able to see that? 148, I believe, is what he said. That's it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he actually was kind of disappointed in his performance, and he was third. I think, uh, I can't remember who he said, got 170. Somebody That was uh, the Ash highest one for tonight. Ashley Ellison Jr. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, impressive. We did get to see a lot of cars flying, though. That was entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> NASA spaceship is what you saw. So yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, bud. It was a wild one, but uh, you did manage to manage the chaos better than anybody else. Yep. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate it, man. See you, bud. Yep. Have a good night. You too. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in 7:20 tomorrow night. 180 incident points for Ashley Ellison. So congratulations on that. Uh, you're the big winner tonight, buddy. Uh, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night, 720 Eastern, X-Cal Street Stocks. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll be back here with the Outlaws for the uh, Xfinity Series at 730 Eastern, followed by the uh, Pro Late Models. And, of course, Friday night, we'll be back with the Tyler Daniels Racing versus Nowski Nation uh, race number three in that series. Starts at 1040 Eastern, so the late series. And don't forget to check out the Outlaw Racing League on iRacing they are recruiting and a great bunch of guys to run with so definitely go give them a shout check them out uh, don't forget to check out htsai.net for all the important links and information you could want thank y'all for tuning in tonight it's been a blast hope y'all have a great night <laughs>